Hello guys, uh, my name is Amit Singh and I'm here today to share with you guys some simple things to all the to all the friends and colleagues across the globe about Cisco collaborations. Um, so I thought of you know starting with something interesting and sharing uh, something called as the collaboration term of the week. So today's collaboration term of the week is O V A. Um, maybe it's not a collaboration term, but yeah, because it's used in Cisco collaboration, um, I would say it's a collaboration term, you know. And the full form of O V A is Open Virtual Archive. And what is this O V A? It's nothing but a file that you can download from Cisco's software download page. And this file contains the information about the resources that would be used by a virtual machine that would be deployed on an ESXi. All right, so let's get started. So what actually is an OVA file? Why is it needed? You know, um, let's see now. It's our template and then with the help of this template you can define the resources so resource definition um, for a virtual machine and what is that virtual machine so it could be anything it could be a call manager, communications manager, sorry, unified communications manager, or it could be IAM and presence. That's also in now call as communications manager, IAM and presence, you know, it could be Cisco Unity Connection. It could be UCCX, Contact Center Express. It could be the expressways for the collaboration edge, you know, expressways. All right. Um, now what actually uh, does this OVA template defines you know so it defines um, like how many number of vCPUs might be needed for this virtual machine you know and what kind of RAM is needed uh, uh, for this virtual machine and then what kind of ESXi is supported you know, because you have to install this inside an EXXI host. So you need to know the version of the ESXI. <laughs> then what kind of operating system, you know, it also defines the operating system um, needed to deploy this uh, virtual machine, you know. So again, all right. So these resources, basically they are um dependent on certain things so basically it depends upon a particular customer it, it basically depends upon the customer you see environment you know so let's take a look at for example a virtual machine requir requirement for a cucm installation or let's say a cucm I am an presence installation. So it could be that the customer just has uh, um, 300 users that are using IP phones or maybe just 150 users that are using the Cisco UC or maybe it could be 2,500 users that are using Cisco UC or it could be 1,000 users that are using Cisco UC. So it could be any number. So I'm just guessing these numbers, you know, it could be any number of users. So depending upon the number of users, the consumption of the resources inside the virtual machine will be defined. You know, the Cisco has defined a lot of templates. So Cisco says, okay, if a customer has 150 UC users, I have a particular OVA template for CUCM and I have a particular OVA template for UCCX and CUC and all sorts of things, you know. And then he says, okay, but it's not only users, you know. 
So what Cisco says, for example, if I have a 1000 user OVA, I have tested and it works perfectly and it would be supported by uh, um, Cisco Tech. So Tech supported configs are like this. So it should be uh, the config should abide abide by the, by the rule that is defined by Cisco. It says um, for one thousand user OVA template. It should be that one device per user is configured inside a CUCM. The second thing they say that maximum you can just have 1000 phones per virtual machine. So in case you have a, a cluster, so he says only 4000 phones and would be supported together inside a, a cluster you know so if you need more please change your OVA template please change your change your resources you know so once you change the resource then um, it would be supported by TAC again but in case for example you implement um, 1000 user OVA but you know uh, and and in your environment let's say you have 1000 users and then you have um let's say 100 conference rooms you know so what you could do is let's say for you do not need phones for each user so it could be like you can configure 900 users and for each user you have one device you know one ip phone or one room system or whatever so just one room system or one device and then you can use the rest 100 devices without a user uh, for the meeting rooms or conference rooms, you know, so I will say meeting rooms or, 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 or conference rooms. So in this way as well, this will be tax supported. So this is This is supported by TAC TAC supported Next but in case you have 1000 user template and then you have 1000 UC users and maybe you know uh, with one or let's say two device per user a jabber and then an IP phone for each user so in this way you you have you know 2000 devices And you have 1000 users and you just have one virtual machine so this configuration will might give the performance issue and in case you open a pack case Cisco might say that this is not tech supported please open uh, or, or please increase your resources as per the recommended uh, configuration uh, virtualization uh, settings and then uh, uh, come back to us and if still you have a problem we can support you right okay so uh, yeah I didn't mention anything about you know the requirements or, or, or uh, on which watch which, which things are the OVAs of the uh, Cisco unity connection and uh, you know um, expressway for example or uccx are based upon so i'll just give you a short information and then i'll send you a link i don't want to make a longer video on this because uh, i believe you already now know so basically um, expressway it, it's like small ova and then medium ova and then there is a large 
for VA. So in small, I think it's like it supports 100 uh, video calls and then plus 200 audio calls. Um, same in this goes with, so they say that up to 100 video plus 200 audio calls for small and medium. And there is a difference in the e interface. So it's a one gig interface. For the large, uh, they say it's a 10 gig interface and more calls because um, it supports, it has larger uh, RAMs and, and uh, other um, hardware. So same goes also with um, Cisco Unity Connection. So Cisco Unity Connection, uh, so it depends upon how many CPUs you use. So if you have one virtual CPU in your OVA template or two virtual CPUs in your OVA template, depending upon that, you have different um, features, you know, for example, with one virtual CPU, you have, uh, and, and you are, if you are just doing a standalone, so there are two configurations, so either it's a standalone or it's an active, active configuration for Cisco ND connection. So in case of a standard, standalone configuration, there are different number of ports that are supported so basically these ports are needed for telephony user interface and then um, view i and then uh, text to speech for example you know so the number of ports that are then supported um, on these uh, uh, configurations depend upon the type of vcpus that are used so one vcpu or two vcpu and then you know there are different features that uh, cisco unity connection supports yeah, I can I can share with you the links about where will you about where can you find the information about you know the OVA templates and what kind of devices, how many devices are supported, and uh, what is there inside an OVA. So basically, it's an OVA README file. You can just download it from software or Cisco downloads uh, software download page from Cisco and then you can have a read at it. So I just explain you guys a little bit more to the new guys who are, you know, not much experienced in doing such things or choosing the templates and installing the device, installing the virtual machines. Um, okay, so um, I would say that this is all out of my experience that I have been implementing, designing uh, a lot of stuff for the customers, but please, please, please do take care because the customer environments do differ for, for different cases, you know, so it's not a hard and fast rule that I have explained to you right now, but these are the basic things, you know, where you could check and where can you have a look. I will definitely share a link with you guys where you, where you can have a look at the needed information as per the customer environment and then, you know, implement the things. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye-bye.